Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. You live on a lovely terrestrial planet called Earth that conveniently lies in the solar system's Goldilocks zone, or habitable zone. It is just the right distance from the sun that the planet's surface doesn't freeze over, but also isn't so hot that your bodily fluids would boil. And you know, that's quite good, I hear. Of course, you also have the atmosphere to thank, because it keeps the Earth warmer than it would have been otherwise. This is due to the greenhouse effect, where short wavelengths of light coming from the sun are absorbed by the Earth, which then release its own long wavelength infrared radiation. Some of this infrared radiation is trapped by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, leading to more heating and rising temperatures. So if it weren't for the greenhouse gases, the temperature on Earth would be below freezing, meaning life as we know it would not be possible. And that's including life noggin, okay? So it seems like the Earth is in a pretty good place right now. But what about the future, the way future? See, in about 5 billion years, the sun will run out of hydrogen in its core. When that happens, the sun will begin to compress under the weight of its gravity, while its outer regions expand outward. Now, during all of this, the sun is losing mass, so its gravitational pull is lessening, which means that the Earth's orbit is able to get larger as if the Earth were retreating away. But is the larger orbit enough to save life on Earth? Well, no, definitely not. See, every billion years that the sun burns hydrogen, its luminosity or brightness increases about 10%. So within the next billion years or so, this 10% increase will cause the Earth's temperatures to rise high enough that the water will begin to evaporate, turning your planet into a dry, barren wasteland. But I should be okay, right? Because I live on the computer, right? Hello? Now, scientists are still unsure whether or not the planet itself will be engulfed by the red giant sun like the inner planets Mercury and Venus. Some predict the Earth may be able to avoid being drawn in by the sun's gravity, but others think a fiery fate is inevitable. Regardless, the only way for life on Earth to continue past that point is to leave the Earth entirely and well before the sun runs out of hydrogen. Who's coming on my rocket? Who wants to join me? Now I think we can all agree space is incredible, and it's amazing to be living in an age where we're learning so much about it. It got us thinking, what if this space race never ended? Nine. To the US, this was seen as the ultimate achievement in the space race. However, what if in an alternate timeline, the Soviet Union had landed a man on the moon before the United States? Check out this video from our friends at Alternate History Hub for more. Make sure to check that out, and there's also a link in the description if you're on mobile. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, don't forget to keep on thinking.